Indian removal was a part of American government policy in the 19th century. It called for the relocation of Native Americans from their homes in the southeast to reservations in the Midwest. Early in the 19th century, the United States began expanding into the lower south. American settlers soon faced an obstacle. The southern land was already home to the Cherokee, Creek, Choctaw, Chickasaw, and Seminole nations. The settlers and other white Americans believed that these nations were in the way of progress. Andrew Jackson was a big player in the policy of Indian removal. In 1814, he commanded military forces that defeated part of the Creek Nation, causing the Creeks to lose 22 million acres of land in Georgia and Alabama. During the time period from 1814 to 1824, Jackson was able to negotiate with nine tribes to get them to give up their eastern lands. The tribes agreed to the treaties in hopes that they would be allowed to keep some of their land. They also hoped that appeasing the government would help to stop the harassment of Native Americans by white people. As a result of these treaties, the United States gained control over three quarters of Alabama and Florida and parts of Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi, Kentucky, and North Carolina. The Indian Removal Act was passed by Congress on May 16, 1830. After four months of intense debating, Andrew Jackson signed the bill and it became a law. The Indian Removal Act gave funds to negotiate with Indians in order to have them removed from southern states. In the case of Worcester versus Georgia, the Supreme Court ruled that the removal of Indians was illegal and that the federal government had an obligation to keep white intruders out of the Indian territory. Jackson disagreed with this ruling and made no attempt to stop Indian removal. The federal government began enforcing the Indian Removal Act by removing 15,000 Indians from their land. Indians were held at gunpoint and told to migrate to Oklahoma. The Trail of Tears refers to the many trails that Native Americans were forced to walk during the relocation. Choctaw Indians were the first Indians to walk the Trail of Tears in 1831. The government had promised them assistance, but no help was given to the Native Americans. Malnutrition, exposure to harsh conditions, and a cholera epi epidemic killed many members of the tribe.